bad person. He doesn't know. He's being used himself. These are all strategies that we can employ from the comfort of our own living room. When it comes to nutritional supplements and supplements in general, there's lots of them. Magnesium, coenzyme Q10, alpha lipoic acid, zinc. We're going to talk about all these in the coming days. And then there's the hormonal substances that we can use as supplements, chief among which, or, or one of the chief hormonal substances. There's a couple other very important ones. One of the most important is pregnenolone. Pregnenolone turns on the chemistry of relaxation in the body, and you can get it at your health food store for pennies a day. Pregnenolone is one of those super helpful but relatively unknown health supplements, unless you've been listening to this program. There's so many cool things and benefits to this wonderful nutritional supplement, pregnenolone. It's hard to know where to begin. It has a calming effect on the body. Our levels drop as we get older, and as we get older, our stress hormones go up. There's kind of like a, an, interesting thing, an interesting phenomena that occurs as we get older. Stress hormones go up. This is one of the reasons why older people will find that they can't fall asleep or they wake up in the middle of the night and they can't go back to sleep. As we get older, our cortisol levels go up. And you can imagine why they go up. It's the ac accumulation of stress and, and trauma emotional, mental, and physical trauma that occurs as we age. When we're younger, we got more pregnenolone. We got more calming hormones. As we get older, that balance is shifted. Low levels of pregnenolone are associated with anxiety. They're associated with insomnia. They're associated with depression. They're associated with cognitive dys dysfunction. Pretty much all of the things we hate about getting older, from an emotional and mental standpoint anyway, are associated with low levels or linked to low levels of pregnenolone. Pregnenolone acts directly on cells like a hormone especially nerve cells and brain cells. Nerve cells and brain cells produce their own pregnenolone from cholesterol. Yes, that demonized molecule. More on that later. By the way, I'm doing a video today, a YouTube video on cholesterol. It'll be posted on Critical Health News. If you're interested in getting our videos, send an email to criticalhealthnews.com. Just, just uh, put a note in there in the subject heading that you want to be put on the video list. We'll talk about cholesterol. I'm going to talk about cholesterol in this video. It'll be out next week. Cholesterol or pregnenolone is derived from cholesterol right in the cells. If you take a statin drug, that's not going to happen. This is one of the reasons, among others, why statin drugs affect the brain. They suppress cholesterol production in the brain. Literally, the brain is making cholesterol. 25% of our cholesterol is in our brain. If you take a statin drug, that means less cholesterol for the brain. Tell that to the next medical physician, medical doctor who wants you on a statin drug. Pregnenolone, uh, pregnenolone comes from cholesterol. It's converted from cholesterol. And pregnenolone itself is turned into other stress uh, anti-stress hormones, stress management hormones. For years, scientists used to think pregnenolone was just a raw material, but recently they, figured pre they found out that pregnenolone has its own health benefits. It's not just a raw material. That means you can do your own hormone replacement therapy at the health food store. You can do your own hormone replacement therapy in a non-toxic fashion. You could do your own hormone replacement therapy without your doctor, without the medical model, for pennies a day. Pregnenolone, 50 milligrams a day to 100 milligrams a day. All right, got so much more to say about pregnenolone and other hormones and other nutritional strategies for anti-stress, for stress management. We'll talk about that when we come back, and we'll talk about that over the coming days as well. And we'll get your phone calls when we come back from our break. 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lines open for you. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We are back on the bright side from the journal Mindfulness. Check this out. Study suggests that washing dishes decreases stress. Hey, like that. You can decrease the stress response, thin your blood, improve your digestive system, improve your mental health by washing the dishes and have a clean kitchen at the same time. These are all the little things that we can do to activate our body's relaxation response. And I know there's some of you guys out there listening saying this can't be true. My doctor didn't tell me about it. It's too easy. That's how easy health is. That's why I do this program. That's why this show is called The Bright Side. Health is easy. It is simple. It's our birthright. We're built to heal. We're built to be healthy. The human body is a regenerating system. Nobody has to suffer with a chronic degenerative disease. Nobody, nobody, nobody has to be on a prescription drug chronically for the long term. And if you are on a prescription drug for life, 
you're being abused. You're being used. You're being taken advantage of. There isn't a single prescription drug on planet Earth that can do what pregnenolone can do in a non-toxic fashion or what nutritional supplements can do. There's not a single prescription drug on the planet that can do what vitamin C can do for pennies a day. When a drug goes to bed at night and has a dream and has a fantasy, it dreams it was vitamin C. Nutrients are what drugs dream they could be. And they're ours. As simple as getting on the healthy start pack. As simple as, this is what longevity is all about. Good health is as simple as getting on the healthy start pack and participating in the longevity culture. Not that you have to do the longevity culture. We just make it easy for you. And you can make money at the same time. If you're interested, by the way, call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470, or head over to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. There's a really, really interesting relationship between marijuana, between pot smoking, and pregnenolone, and there's also a very interesting relationship between Valium and Xanax and pregnenolone. We'll talk about that on our next Brightside episode as we continue talking stress hormones and nutrition and hormonal strategies, non, not necessarily nutritional strategies, but hormonal or supplemental strategies that we can use to access our relaxation response, to access our God-given built-in ability to regenerate and heal. All right, got lines open for you at 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. Let's go to Virginia and welcome Rose to the Bright Side. Good morning, Rose. What's up? Hi, Ben. I'm doing well. God bless you. God bless you as well. What's cooking? I haven't forgotten you. I'm going to have to email you because Alan needs to speak with you, okay? But uh, this is related to something else. And as always, I tell you, and I mean it, my prayers are for you. Thank Um, you, Rose. How much we love you. Um, I was going to ask you, I have a, we, we know this young man, I think he's in his 30s. And he was mentioning to us the other day that uh, he has this condition. I'll spell it. I don't know how to pronounce that. K e t a c o n o u s. K e t a c o n o u s. Yes. Uh, you're, ta- you're, you're sure there's not an R in there? It's an eye. Pro- is it an eye problem you're talking about? Yeah, it's yes, keratocon- Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Keratoconus, it's called. Uh, how? Keratoconus. It has okay. to do with the shape of the eye. Yeah. Okay. And he, uh, he said that he had a, a surgery on one eye, and he's, he, he has lost hope in this moment. Okay, no, we're going to help I'm him. I'm going to get blind. No, I'm no, gonna... we're going to help him. Let me tell you what about keratoconus, okay? Remember, we always say on the bright side how all diseases basically have the same kind of me- mechanisms behind them. Keratoconus is a, a, it's a collagen defect. It's the fibers in the eye start to break down, and the eye can't hold its shape. Everything is held in shape by connective tissue in the body. That's the name connective tissue. Connective tissue connects everything together. Uh, prolapses, hernias, keratoconus, these are, these are defects in the body that are caused by a breakdown in connective tissue. It's very common. Breakdowns in connective tissue and connective di- tissue diseases are really, they're a major cause of aging and a major cause of de- degeneration of the body. So basically it's arthritis of, of the eyes, arthritis of the cornea specifically. Does this make sense so far? He has an arthritis of the cornea. He probably has arthritis too. You know, this is a guy whose body is falling apart. Now, when he's 30 years old and his vo- body is falling apart that dramatically, that's actually great news. Because what it means is something is really, really, something really dramatic is impacting his body. When he's falling apart at the age of 30, if you fall apart when you're 60 and 70, you know, that's degeneration, that's chronic, that's long term. It's a little trickier to get to the cause of that. But when you break down at the age of 30, right, when you have keratoconus or, or a, any kind of breakdown condition at a young age, something dramatic is happening. Something profound is happening. Something obvious is happening is what I'm saying here. So we've got to figure out what that is. Nobody just has a degenerative health crisis. There are multiple degenerative health crises, and we gotta, we got to collect symptoms. You ever hear, you've heard me say this. You've got to collect the dots before you can connect the dots. So we need a bunch of dots. We need a bunch of sample points. Remember the artist Bob Ross? You know, I used to watch him on TV, and I've talked about this before, but for the new listeners, there's a... 
you remember Bob Ross, right? You, he yes. would draw an entire landscape with a couple of lines on a canvas. So you have this blank canvas, and you got one line on the canvas. What the heck is that? That's just a line. But then you get two lines on the canvas, and all of a sudden a picture starts to emerge. Then you get three lines, and oh my God, now you have a mountain. And a fourth line, you got trees. And a fifth line, you got a river. And a sixth line, you got birds. And seven or eight lines, so all of a sudden you have a whole picture. And this is what we have to do when it comes to doing the detective work, which a doctor's supposed to be doing, but which they don't. This is what we have to do when it comes to the detective work of trying to figure out what's going on in the body. We need multiple points. So I'm not talking to him, I'm talking to you. So I can't really ask him questions, but this is what you should ask him. Number one, what other things are going wrong? Nobody just has a connective tissue problem. There's other things going on. There's probably digestive issues. That's, as I've said, that's always the first place to look. Doesn't mean there's fixing the digestive system or changing the way we eat is going to magically cure your illness, but it's the first place to look. It's like when there's a murder mystery. The first place, when, the, when, the, when a woman or the wife gets killed, who do they go to? They go to the husband. Why? He's the most likely suspect. Not that he guaranteed did it, but it's the first place to look. Likewise, when you have a chronic degenerative condition, carotid conus, the degeneration of the breakdown of the collagen in the eye, You've got to go to the digestive system first. If he has to do a fast, he should do a fast. This is serious business, by the way. This is a dramatic breakdown for a 30-year-old kid. So uh, work on the digestive system. Eliminate problem foods. Get on the Jordan Rubin products and the Biolumin Nightly Essence, the, the Amasai and the Swear V, eating less food, using uh, ultimate enzymes after meals. All of these can help him process his food, grinding his food up, using smoothies and soups. This is another very important strategy for all chronic degenerative diseases. You know, even when we eat good food, our, dige our immune system, our inflammatory system wakes up. So making sure that he's eating less food, making sure that he's grinding his food up, making smoothies and soups, and then making sure that he's eliminating problem foods as well, doing a food diary, et cetera. Second thing is the blood sugar system. Elevated blood sugar and elevated insulin and degeneration go hand in hand. So making sure he's stabilizing his blood sugar using the Sweeties product after meals. The Fucoid Z can help with blood sugar. There's a zillion supplements for blood sugar. Osteomag, the Healthy Star Pack, electrolytes, all very important for the blood sugar system. Got a couple more things to say, Rose. Hang on. And if you're on hold, we'll get to you as well. 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. You are listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. Okay, we are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben talking to Rose about carotoconus, which is a kind of degenerative condition in the eye. Rose dropped off. Uh, kind of the eye sort of the eyeball sort of cones out sort of pops out a little bit and it's a degenerative condition and it's not all that uncommon actually and it can be a leading cause of blindness the main thing you want to do is consider it to be just a generic degenerative health issue that affects the eye as opposed to the joints or the spine or any other part of the body that degenerates so in this way it's the same as any other degenerative health issue the same that means you do the same things you focus on digestive health. If you're not absorbing your nutrients, you're not going to absorb protein, you're not going to absorb vitamin C. All of these are report for collagen, and keratoconus is partially a collagen deficiency defect. So building collagen is very important. That means digestive health. That means eliminating problem foods. That means using bone soup and protein, for that matter. And you can't make collagen without vitamin C, and that's your healthy start pack. Making sure you're stabilizing blood sugar, keeping inflammatory sugar out of the blood, very important strategy. Using the Sweeties, using magnesium, the Osteo FX, using the Fucoid Z and the Z radical. Taurine is great for blood sugar. Arginine is important for stabilizing blood sugar. Alpha lipoic acid, we talked about that earlier this week. Very important for blood sugar. You need a lot of alpha lipoic acid, in my opinion, four or 500 milligrams a day to get some good effects. You'll probably get effects at less, but to get real good effects, you need a good dose, 400 or 500 milligrams a day. Vitamin E, also 400 international units a day. And then last but not least, making sure you're practicing deep breathing techniques, relaxing the body, using your, all the strategies we talk about for activating the parasympathetic nervous system. All of these are for dealing, everything I just told you, if you're listening, you don't have keratoconus, 
if you have any degenerative disease, this is, these are all strategies you can use for reversing all degenerative health crises. All right, 844-236-6010, got lines open for you. Jim in Texas, what's going on? Welcome to the Bright Side. Hey, how are you? Um, I have a quick question.